Hello everyone. We are walking one more time in the snow. <laughs> How is everyone doing today? So if you've watched our last three walks, we are, I guess, unexpectedly doing a short little snow walk series. This is the fourth walk, the fourth and final walk of the snowstorm in Brooklyn, New York. We are on 7th Avenue, just off of 86th Street. And we'll be walking along 7th Avenue around the golf course, the Dyke Beach Golf Course. I figured I would wrap it all up with a nice little bow with this walk. A lot of trees and just a lot of nature and stuff like that. We will walk, we will basically take this down and uh, we'll wrap it up inside Zyka Beach Park. So uh, this walk will mostly be a lot of uh, trees and nature. So give a little recap. We've done a lot of walking today. <laughs> so as you've seen the first first video we did, the first walk we did um, that got up on YouTube a few days ago was 86th Street. That started her off at the peak of the storm. It was around 7 in the morning when we did that walk. 7 this morning. Then I hopped onto a train. And we got into Coney Island. That was the second walk. We walked around Coney Island. We walked uh, around the amusement park. We took a walk onto the boardwalk. We then got down over to, to the Brighton Beach Avenue area. <clears throat> And then our third walk took place. I hopped on the train a third time, well, second time, and did the third walk. And that walk was Sunset Park with uh, no commentary. We took 8th Avenue. I pretty much walked all the way back from Sunset Park to this area. This is where we are now, 7th Avenue. So we did a lot of walking today. Now you guys know, I can walk in any kind of weather. It doesn't matter. Yeah, like a winter wonderland inside Dyker Beach Park, uh, Golf Course. I'll stick the camera close to the fence so you guys can kind of see in there. There you go. I tell you, that guy's a champ. He's running in the in the snow. <laughs> I don't know if I would run in the snow. Walk, yeah, but not run. You could break an ankle easy in this. Easy. You gotta be careful. It doesn't matter how athletic you are. So now that it's uh, getting close to 12, we'll talk about the storm since we've had enough of it and I can tell you what I think of it um, it's not as bad as they said it was going to be it, uh, we've yet I've yet to see these these 40 to 50 mile an hour winds maybe uh, generally that usually comes in at the end of the storm so maybe later the winds will pick up as the storm is exiting to the northeast and you get those wraparound winds at the end of the storm. But for the exception of this morning, when I was on 86th Street, it really hasn't been windy. It's been actually very nice. Let 
There we go. Get some more views for you guys. I have to stick the camera through the fence so you can see all that. Very nice. Winter Wonderland. We used to come into the golf course during these days and we would sled in here. There's a uh, big hill in here called Dead Man's Hill. I'm sure everybody has a Dead Man's Hill where they live. <laughs> and uh, we used to go down that. I still got the umbrella. It has been uh, talking about the storm again, so, you know, the wind is, you know, a little, starting to pick up a little bit now. You see the snow going sideways. But the other thing is it hasn't been really cold. It has been warm enough that the snow, even though the snow is, you know, sticking to a point, it's very slushy and very wet. It's that type of snow that uh, I had said in an earlier walk could give you a heart attack shoveling it. It's very heavy. It's the type of snow that cakes onto all the trees. You can see all these trees are all caked with snow. They do plow this area. It was plowed earlier, but it looks like it's collected some more snow since then. And you can see that's what these tracks are. If you see these tracks on a sidewalk, there was a uh, golf, one of those golf courts coming around, probably uh, checking the area out. Even though the golf course cl is obviously closed to golf, well, a lot of the groundskeepers are still working, so. And they have to maintain the entire perimeter of the golf course, which is 2.2 uh, 2 .2 miles around. We're on the 7th Avenue side. And when I got back from Sunset Park, I stopped. I stopped into uh, Burgerfy for an early lunch. I was hungry. <laughs> you do a lot of walking. That, that'll do. That'll do that to you. Make you hungry. I, I grabbed a uh, very unhealthy. I grabbed a bacon cheeseburger. With those, uh, they got some really good fries. I think they got the best fries anywhere. And uh, a cream soda. That was my lunch. So now I'm walking that off. That's what I'm doing right now. I wasn't going to uh, run the camera <laughs> for this walk. Because this is on my way home. So I was like, you know what? One more. This is uh, in here, right here, in the golf course. I was telling you guys earlier, this is where Dead Man's Hill is, right? It's hard to see, like, through all these trees, but you can kind of see there's a slope that goes down here. You can kind of see how high it gets up there. And we used to run our sleds down this uh, slope right here.
Now it's gonna get really cold this week. So this snow is gonna stay in place. So I'm gonna make sure to get inside the golf course here and uh, get some pictures, do some photography this week. I've been doing some photography today in between camera shifts. I did some photography in Coney Island. I did some in McKinley Park where we ended the last walk. And when I get to my destination of this walk, I will, you know, shut the camera down. I'll do some photography over there, and then I will personally call it a day. I believe tomorrow, well, as I'm recording it, it already happened, but I think tomorrow is uh, Valentine's Day. Who knows, maybe people will consider this the Valentine's Day storm of 2024. And you can see just by looking at the street, I mean, it is, it's back to wet snow. You know, it is, it is much warmer out. Temperature is 35 when I started this walk. So, the only snow piling up is already on snow, snow covered surfaces. Look at this area. Nothing like a loud truck to go by when you're trying to show some nature. <laughs> but yeah, it is, uh, it is warmer out. You can tell. So everything is slush. At the VA Medical Center to my right. Fort Hamilton Army Base is just behind me. And we are no longer on 7th Avenue. This is what they consider Poly Place, this, this part of the road. It's really a continuous road, so where we started, it was 7th Avenue, and then it just curves. And this area right here is called Poly Place. And then where it curves again, up, up ahead of us, it merges into 14th Avenue. I think what we're gonna do is try a cross here. Oh, I gotta be careful. There's a lot of water here. Wait. All right. It looks like they did some plowing over here. That clock is a little fast. It says it's 12:01, but it's actually about quarter to 12.
You may notice my microphone, it, for some reason my microphone keeps going off and I think it's really because of the battery level. And I just turned it back on. So it may go back off again. <laughs> I have the onboard uh, microphone which works just as well. So should still be able to hear me when the mic goes out again. Yeah, so when I char I keep I bring a battery pack with me, but I rarely charge recharge the battery because the battery lasts a lot longer than the um, camera. So a lot of times I'll throw the camera onto the battery pack. Let me try to get through this flooded way. Oh, looks like the mic went off again. So, oh well. The battery is uh, pretty much toast. You might hear a difference in the audio. It kind of gets... There's a lot more background noise. It's, it's way more ambient. I just got to keep in mind now that I got to talk to the camera like I'm holding a microphone. Well, here we are at Dyka Beach Park. And we're going to walk through the park. And it is really snowing right now. Ooh, I almost got hit with a... Oh, we just got hit. So I hold the umbrella up and the trees are dropping all the snow off of the branches. And it's like somebody hitting you with a snowball. So we're going to be walking under a lot of trees when we get to the park, so we might hear a few of that. So this is my park. I'm pretty much home at this point. So I will just stroll through the park. Give everyone a look of what the park looks like when it's snowing. Just got hit with another glob of snow. It's a good thing I have the umbrella, it's protecting me. We'll walk into the park here. Very slushy. If you look down here, I'm walking pretty much in about an inch of wet slush. It's like it's, you can just hear it sloshing under my feet. What I'll do for you guys, I will walk right through these trees. 
instead of going onto the path. It is really snowing right now. We look across the field here, you can see that snow is falling. So we're in a, this is probably the heaviest snow that I've seen all morning. And it's just nothing but white. we'll do is we'll walk around the whole perimeter of the park and then we'll we'll end the walk somewhere down in there in the in where the playground is now Fort Hamilton Army base right next to me The wind has picked up too a bit, so. The wind is on my back though, so I'm good right now. When we get to the other side of the park though, it's it's gonna be a different story, so. We'll see uh, how I manage when I get to the other side. I can't say for sure that this will be our last snow walk of the year, but this will definitely be the last snow walk of this little series we did. You could always count on the parks in New York City, no matter what, that the snow always sticks. So it could be one of those days like today where it's a lot of wet snow. Uh, but the, the parks collect it. Grassy surfaces. You can see here, man, look at this. This is uh, a lot of snow falling down right now. Look at that. Got somebody walking their dog. You guys might hear some wind coming into the camera. I said earlier my my wireless mic it's very low in battery and it kept shutting off so the camera does not have a windscreen on it, <laughs> it the, all the mics are pretty much exposed on the camera now you see I'm walking into the wind now and I've got the umbrella 
to my side to block this snow driven, this wind driven snow. It's easier to walk in the snow than in those tire tracks that you see to my left and my right. It's very slippery in there. This is going to be interesting because I got to walk into this snow to finish this walk. So, but we will do it. We will make it. It has also. Uh, gotten cold as you walk through this wind. It's much colder walking into the wind. And we'll walk this way and then we'll just go around. Might hear some uh, snow globs hitting our umbrella. So we did a lot of walking today in the snow. So it gives the channel a little bit of a wintry feel. I mean, when you're watching the walks, if you see people walking around, you see the jackets and everything, but this really tells you it's winter when you're walking around in the snow everywhere. tennis courts in here. I'll show you guys the tennis courts. Nobody's playing tennis today though. I'm gonna protect the camera. thank everybody for watching the walk coming along this was unplanned I was not going to do this but I was like you know what why not I still got some good battery power and I am on my way home so it's not really a big you know trouble to do it into the park, into the playground. I'll go this way and then in. And then we will end it. So yeah. With all the walks I did today, I've got, uh, you know, we've had a few walks 
upload it to YouTube so I could now take a break. Well, by the time you've watched it, I've probably been off for a week. <laughs> the weather is supposed to get cold, so we'll see how that works out. This uh, storm is supposed to usher in a lot of cold air. We had last week, we, we had some nice temperatures. The Coney Island Avenue walk, it was 60 degrees. But old man Winter had second thoughts and wanted to let everybody know he wasn't, he wasn't finished with us. See my footsteps that came into the park here. All right, we're going to end it over here Bay 8th Street and Cropsey Avenue. I want to thank everybody for taking along. And we will catch everyone on the next walk. So with that, I will leave you guys with some traffic. And call it a day. Take care, everyone.